Okay, this cable here is what's come from the 240 consumer unit, uh, which goes into the battery charger. The switch for it is on this side down here. Didn't come in with any fixing brackets, so what we've used is a bit of uh, aluminium stripping that's been screwed to hold it in position. You come around this side, it's got a display screen to tell you what it's doing. And then obviously those cabling run off to the batteries. It's a bit like spaghetti junction at the moment, it needs tidying up. We then from there, from the battery, this cable here, this red cable goes into the back of the isolation switch. Then from the isolation switch around the back, comes back through here, which goes into your 12 volt positive side. Everything is being labeled where they're going to. As you say that all of the fuses aren't in place because they're not complete on the other side, but the ones that are have the fuses in place. And then we've got below that, we've got the earth wire, which runs around and to the earth point and this is again all the earth wires are labeled as to where they're going to right we've also then got a little inverter which is this here i don't know if you can see it through the sun uh, i'll show you on this side of it there we go it's the victron energy pure sine wave inverter phoenix 12 stroke 375 and for our needs that's more than adequate as I say when you come to this side of it we've got your positive and your negative which go off to the battery then the earth cable which goes through the frame and is fixed to the, the chassis just down there obviously rub down make sure the metals clear and then screw through to there reference the batteries we've got two 100 lead acid batteries of which the if i come around this side the breather points from both come through there go through and into underneath the chassis of the vehicle and as i say with your battery you take one side to feed all your positives and off your second battery you take all the earths which is what we've done there the one thing i will say is these clips are excellent because when you come to wiring them all up, you can have the clips away, wire it all up and then just clamp it on, job done and dusted. And as you can see, they're all labelled on where they go to. And so if you're taking off the positive side on one battery, you just link the other positive side of the battery. And then the opposite sides are your earth. So on this battery, you feed the earth wires and that one is just linked. So that's the electric system there. The one problem we've had is this, which is the solar panel, a uh, solar panel, the split charge relay. I'll show you more about that in a minute. But as you say, so that's that. And then it comes round here. So that's where they're housed in there. I will show you at the back where all these cables are at the moment. We need to... Uh, as you can see all the cables then come through that board there so what we're going to look at doing is putting a piece of thin ply across so all that's isolated off and you haven't got all your cables just hanging about right so from there we come along here and under this piece of the oh, what they call it piece of tongue and groove We've then got this area here, which is basically underneath this, is all your wires. And we've just put that box on so that they're hidden. And then we come up here to this socket here. So the top one is your inverter. Then we've got our USB port. And then obviously the 240. So that's been situated in there. Then we've got this little switch here. Which puts all your main top lights on so that's those ones then down this side of the van we've got this switch here which is going to be for the light and this is going to be fixed around here somewhere so it shines down onto your gas hob so that's that one we've then got a double switch here first one 
which is the light into the bathroom area. And then this one here, which lights up one, two, three LEDs that are going to be hanging down. Yeah, so that's that switch. We've then got your 12 volt cigarette lighter for putting different 12 volt appliances in. And then we have the 240 plug on the end. We've also got two of these, which we've got hanging at the moment, which are going to be mounted into the side, one at that end and one down the far end. So that's all the wiring as it stands at the moment. But I'll now explain about the split charge relay. Right, this split charge relay, which has got its live not connected there and the live that runs through towards the battery. And obviously it's earthed at the moment. When I went to take the cover off the battery to expose the battery to wire up the other end, because when we first got the split charge relay, I ran the cable from the battery area through the van before this wall went up so I didn't have to start looking at putting cables through once it had been up. But when I exposed the battery, I found this little square. So when I found that on the, the, earth, then the earth terminal, I remember when the boondockers, Kirsty and Purdy had done a, a van tour of one man and his whippet, Dave's uh, VW Crafter. And he was saying about how when he got his van, it already had the split charge relay in, which he was happy with because crafters and sprinters sometimes need a specialist split charge relay. So when I'd seen that, I was thinking, oh my goodness, don't tell me I've got need one of them. So anyway, I was having a look on the internet and then I found this. Right, so with that, we decided to go down to Skelton Autos, see Darren, take all my vans down there, cracking bloke. Uh, so I went down and I showed him the photograph, which showed you the battery and the connector on the Earth's, Earth part of the battery. And on there was the actual parts number. So he phoned up to order the part where he would order the part from. And he asked them and he said, does it, is this indicating we've got a, a smart alternator? And he said, it doesn't say that. All it did say was it was a sensor. So based on what we'd researched, a sensor on there would indicate that you had a smart alternator. So when I was speaking with Darren, he says, well, if you can and you can afford to, I'd get the, the better split charge relay. He says, because at the end of the day, if you don't need it, it's not doing any harm and it's a better split charge relay than the standard one. So this is what we went and bought. We bought this. So with your normal split charge relay from the battery, the van battery, you have a 16 millimeter cable with inline fuse that goes into the split charge relay. And then from there, you have another 16 millimeter cable with an inline fuse that connects to the positive terminal of your leisure battery. And the earth wire on a standard split charge relay just goes down to the earth of the chassis. However, with this one, you've got your different parts. So first off, you've got your, your in. So on the plus here is where your 16 millimeter cable from your leisure, uh, from your van battery would come in. And this plus side is where, again, 16 millimeter cable with an inline fuse would go to your positive terminal of your leisure battery. So that's basically what we've already got in situ. However, the earth wire, if you see these are linked, the earth wire just goes from here and it goes to the, the earth, not earth side, the negative side of your leisure battery. So that's all you basically need for this to work as a split charge relay on a sprinter. However, we've got all these gubbins here. From what I can gather, these are if you have, uh, what's those batteries that they get? Lithium. Lithium batteries. That's all connected to lithium batteries. However, there is a switch here. It's got two little switches in there. I don't know if you can see them. And they have to be in a certain position depending on the battery that you've got. And with us, it's lead acid batteries. So I need to check up on that on 
to make sure that we're happy with that then if so this can then be fitted where the original split charge relay was so i need to do a bit more reading up on that and then get this installed and then we're covered every which way we've got 150 watt solar panel on the roof we're going to have the 240 mains electric with inline battery charger and obviously the split charge relay and it's all about all the options you need to keep your batteries up uh, so better get on now then hadn't we <laughs> bye right so with that i thought i'll nip down and see darren at uh, skelton autos brilliant darren who does all my bands cracking bloke anyway so i went down and i showed him the photograph of the battery and you could see the uh, part number of the unit that was on the earth terminal so anyway he phoned up to the company where he would order the part from and he asked them he said is this to do with split chart uh, smart alternator and he couldn't state outright it just said that that particular part was a sensor so based on that Darren said that you were probably better if you're in a position where you could was to get and I've just realized I've left you. <laughs> my eyes again it's like, it's like where, where's he going to grab it from next he hasn't got it he's doing it again